Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Jones operating from the gun. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. That catch good for only a couple. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting. They'll take it on in for a giant touchdown. 40 yards. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. 25 yard line. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. That's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Second and seven at the 28-yard line. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. And nine. Coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. To throw on third down. Carr lets this go for Renfro downfield. And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And no move to pull Carr and the offense off. They're going to go on fourth down. This go deep for runs. And this is going to be.
We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Tennessee Titans. Steven Goskowski is set to kick off. Here's Steven Goskowski now to kick this one off. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Brings up second and three at the 32-yard line. Wentz on the give to Sanders. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And finally out of bounds down near the 10-yard line. A huge play there on the screen pass. 48 yards. down and goal to go. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. The ball carrier. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Shotgun now for Wins. The quick slant caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four-down territory? Might he go for it? They'll try to run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score the opening drive. Well, that's a solid opening drive. And nothing fancy there at the end. Just pounded in. That felt like old school football, didn't it? All right, down at the goal line. And not only were they able to punch it in, as you just emphasized, they did it against a goal line defense that's stacked to stop the run. So if you're on that offensive side of the ball, you feel great about yourself right now. You're actually able to dominate a group that expected you to run the ball and still punched it in. Good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. Their own 25-yard line. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Second and seven. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Escaping the pressure right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. They are going for it. It's Tannehill. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So shall we say a bold decision to go for it. And that bold decision does not pay off. And when you talk about bold, you're saying all caps? All caps. Yeah, without a doubt. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz. 28 yards, and the Eagles had six to their lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time, and that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Makes the score Eagles 14. Titans nothing. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And no return here for Evans as they will bring this out to the 25. 25 yard line. Titans offense set to begin the drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Tannehill getting it out quickly to Brown. The 30, the 20, oh, touchdown Titans. A.J. Brown, 73 yards, and the Titans get the quick strike touchdown. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. And and they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Now a carry for Sanders. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's 
a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Well, they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle. I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Brings up second and seven. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. It was Kenny Vaccaro there to get a hand on that one. Well, the first two drives yielded touchdowns, so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins. They pushed it downfield, looking for another one right there. Didn't get it, but we know they're going to continue to be bold. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive and a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. A fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Now at first down, Henry with a little bit of running room. Nice gain. He'll get about six yards there. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards to pick up there. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, it's Henry. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 
punch it in with Henry. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Derrick Henry taking it in. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. Makes the score Eagles 17, Titans 14. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Their own 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Wentz now on first down. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. After the interception, here's Tannehill. Fletcher comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Fletcher Cox breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And it's third down. gun Tannehill he's going deep for Brown and it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted a pick there would have been great the good news for the defense now it's fourth down on fourth down here's Brett Kern to punt the football away That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. 
Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 41-yard line. He'll start with a give to Henry. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spent in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle is made by Adoree Jackson. You don't see that a ton, do you? The cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's got Rome. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. Give him 14 on that one. At their pace, this is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now Sanders, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. On second and 11 now. Wentz going to look deep for Jeffrey. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Now Wentz on third down. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on the punt for the first time this afternoon. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. 49, 49. They'll run it again with Henry. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Third and two, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Fourth down. 
And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're going to go. It's Tannehill. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Back to throw, Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. A first down carry for Henry. Fighting through, and he's got space. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And the clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. And they run the option here on first and 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Throwing on second and eight. Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Complete to Derek it's a good gain of 11. Sets first him up first and goal. And goal. I love the drive line. they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come there right now. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. And now a timeout taken here defensively with 2.07 remaining. So they'll also have the stop coming up at the two-minute warning. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Here's Tannehill. Buying time to his left. He'll, and he will score. Touchdown, Titans. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And that will make this a four-point game. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. Jackson now to return. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll look to throw. 
They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. A good first down call as the screen play gets a nine. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down now, it's Sanders. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Here's Sanders. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. to the 10-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. A gain of three brings up second and goal. Second and goal from the one. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Trying to run this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. It's third down and goal to go. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. Onto the football.